We just launched into a game at SiamesMahjong.com. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing two hands at one time with one opponent. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong, look for a link in the video description below for a demonstration. Let's check out these tiles. I'm going to hold my shift key down so I can sort them quickly. If you just click on them, the tiles will be moved to the opposite rack with the like tiles. We have a couple of flowers, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Almost the full run, we're missing a six. We have a pair of green dragons and white dragons, a single north, which probably I will likely discard first. Then we have three, five, eight, and bams, pair of eights, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and dots, pair one, pair six. It'd be nice to use these dragon pairs. If we can get consecutive run around the eight, uh, let's see, maybe consecutive run with cracks and dragons, we could play the concealed hand. We've got lots of consecutive runs in there. Let's start by discarding north and check out the rest of the tiles. North win. So we have five, six, ooh, five, six, seven, eight, eight. One dot. I just saw that. Third hand from the bottom, consecutive run. That looks pretty good. And then maybe we could build up multiples one through seven and see if we could maybe use the dragons for the concealed hand. So let's pass on the one dot. We got another north. All right, let's north prepare for wind. these two hands now. So we have eight, eight, and seven eight. Seven dots. There's a flower, which we'll need... Let's see, we don't need more than two with this particular plan. So let's just see. We do have some potential for a year hand if we don't play the concealed hand. We have 39 seconds to decide. If you see up here, there's a little clock. You get a minute to make a decision once the game's in play, I think. At the beginning, you get two minutes. So here we have five, six, seven, eight, eight. There's a nice pair in there for this pairs. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine dragons. Maybe a year hand. Let's discard five bam. Five bamboo. And let's put these year tiles over here. Seven characters. We may not be able to use both ones if we do the year hand. We did get a keeper, an eight. Three bamboos. We still need to try to build up our pairs though. Five, six, seven consecutive pairs. We have Red some dragon. weakness there. So, oh, there's a, there's a joker. That's nice. Three dots. We can maybe do six, seven, eight, nine crack. Six, seven dot, eight, Five nine characters. crack if we don't build up our pairs. There's another joker. Let's focus on the little numbers and let the seven crack go. Seven characters. We have five numbers to work with here. We need to build up. Green dragon. Now, if we're going to use both of those jokers, we'll need to stay concealed. So let's pass. There's a five crack. All right. Let's hold the one, two for potential year hand. But we could definitely let the three crack go, I think. So three we have characters. four or five dragon. There's one, two, three, four multiples in there. Seven bamboos. There's our pair for the five. Now is when I would commit to that nice 30 point hand. Five, six, seven consecutive pairs with Kongs of eights. We're ready to act on those Kongs. So I would call that ready to go. Or in other words, set. You can call for each block in the hand that are that's callable anyway, Eight or exposable, dots. then that would be set. Now this five, now that we let, let that nine crack go, I don't think we need to keep the five unless we switch to like numbers with fives, but we have the wrong five for the green dragon. So let's let the five dot go. We have a nice five potential here for the concealed hand. 
I think I would focus on that probably. Eight bamboos. Let's calm. Calm. And let's let the cracks go. In the year One tiles. character. I think this looks pretty good for that four or five dragon hand. Consecutive run concealed. Two bamboos. We don't need a seven bam. Seven bamboos. Ooh, this five, six, seven consecutive pairs with Kongs of Eight's hand. We might be able to do that one pure if we can get this eight crack over here. Two characters. Or eight bam. Seven bamboos. That joker's for an eight bam. Oh no, there's another flower. All right, let's just rethink Three this characters. for a minute. Four flowers. We have a potential year Seven hand in characters. one suit, but we really don't have the twos. I don't think I would switch to that Three fourth dots. hand down at this point because we don't have the twos. Two dots. And there goes one of them. So let's just stay, stay where we're focused here. We probably should Five let bamboos. these flowers go. You don't want to hold on to these too long if you're not going to Red use dragon. them. Red dragon. And we don't need an eight dot. Eight dot. Now we could have considered switching to like numbers with eights and four flowers, but we're one away North from ready Red. on a potential pure hand. And there's a little help with another joker. So let's discard two dot. Two dots. This is concealed, so we're going to have to draw well with four or five crack. Green dragon. There goes the first green. Eight dot we don't need. Eight dots. Four or five dragon. Four or five dragons. Nine characters. Red dragon. No, we need green and white. There are two green dragons out, so we're going to need to dedicate one of the jokers. Red dragon. And here we have one dots. Now our opponent discarded a one dot so we can escalate those as discards. We don't want to hold on to these flowers for too long. I'm thinking maybe after the next two picks Three we can characters. let them go. Well, actually these white one dots are pretty safe. So let's discard the east. Wind. East and west are not out yet. They may be needing them. There's north out. And they discarded one, but they could still be playing east-west, something or other. East-west, well, they bamboos. threw a green, so they wouldn't do east with green, but they could be doing east and west with evens, let's say. Seven characters. I think we should let these flowers go now and connect Nine to the dots. concealed hand. Oh, there's, there's a keeper. Now, if we can Flower. just exchange this... Joker, we could have a nice pure hand. That would be a 60-point hand. Really nice score. If you can get a pure hand, that's a good way to get value. Oh, oh, east and west with fours. Three characters. Five east, so that's a 25-point hand. We are still Five in the middle characters. game. Okay, that's our tile, but we're concealed. South wind. We are ready on an eight crack, but I'd love to one bamboo. get that joker. Oh, there's an option, six crack. Let's let the flower go. Flower. So we can do four, five, or five, six now. West wind. There's another joker. That will be helpful, maybe with the dragon. Still hoping to exchange this eight bam. Two bamboos. Or maybe they could take it. Oh, that's a keeper. Six crack. So now one dot. We are actually ready to win on the concealed hand. Eight dots. Ready to win on the concealed hand with a five crack or six crack. Two dots. So we just need a couple White dragon. Okay. Let's see here. If we move that down, oh no, we're not. Oh yes, we are ready actually. Let's mahjong on that. Five crack, six crack with jokers. 
green dragon, that white dragon completes the hand, so let's mahjong there. Five, six dragon, concealed. Mahjong. And then we can discard the four crack, four and five. now we're ready on an eight crack or an eight bam for exchange. Oh, they got there before us. Three, six, nine, pair hand. Good thing we were trying for a big hand. At least we got a little bit of value. So here we have east and west with fours with a couple of jokers and then a pair hand, three, six, nine. So 125 points. Their first hand is single value, but the single and pair hand is double value because it's their second hand. That's why you see two 50 point lines there. And here we are credited for our 30 point hand and we are ready to win on that five, six, seven, eight, eight consecutive run hand second from the bottom. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.